Because guess what? That just means you hate them more. Well, that's the point, eh? <laughs> Isn't it? When the boy from Rumpenstein yeah. come out and he's like, we love nothing more than fucking killing Nazis. Like, are you free? It's like, and we're going to give you more games so you get to kill more fucking Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> As always, should you or any of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This podcast will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Ethan. (laughs) Welcome to a very special episode 49 of The Unmonetizables, the official podcast of the Falk Chronicles, the dumbest search for intelligence in the galaxy. And steps us a podcast to the Indy Scots Network's Scots with Soul podcast. My name is Captain Privilege, and with me for no choice of their own, ah, Dr. Darkside. We've got a city to burn. <laughs> and Grandmaster Tech. Somebody removed my account. Is that a fucking Minecraft meme? I don't know, like what? Oh, remove your you don't account. Know, you don't know where that was from? Oh, of course I fucking do. I'm steps ahead of you, mate. <laughs> you're just unaware, but if you're unaware, folks, this is the only show in the galaxy that expertly dissects your primitive planet's creatable culture, a.k.a. the trending tat of the week. And story number one, I'm already doing it. You're talking about Johnny Mnemonic, part two. <laughs> yeah? That, that that sequel we all wanted. Or we didn't know we wanted until Keanu Reeves showed the fuck up in Cyberpunk. You mean Johnny Silverhand? Oh, Johnny Johnny Silverhand. Is that his name? Like, he can <laughs> fucking <laughs> Silverhand be any day of the week, man. What a god. What a man. <laughs> That was a, that, um, you're breathtaking. No, <laughs> no, you're breathtaking. Really? So, if you are unaware, folks, uh, E3, the biggest fucking gaming conference on the planet, happened as it as it does annually, and Xbox had it all to lose or win, being that Sony were no were were, were no taking part this year, but they fucking killed it within the first goddamn part. <laughs> <laughs> by not only showing it, the most kick-ass trailer for Cyberpunk 2020, uh, 2022, or 2027 or something like that, that, that that's come out so far, but at the end of said fucking trailer, face reveal, Keanu Reeves is in the game, and at the end the fucking face reveal, fucking shutters open, smoke pours out, and Keanu fucking Reeves steps out. John Wick himself comes out doing some back-footed ballet as he's trying to react to the goddamn crowd shouting, <laughs> just screaming because they're... It's fucking Keanu Reeves, man. Yes. <laughs> I know I'm fanboying, but so what? <laughs> no kidding. I was a bit to What's say. It? Like, what a fucking comeback story, man. Everyone thought that guy couldn't do shit after like, the Matrix. Like, so you want a box of Kleenex or something? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Just keeps the fucking crate. No, like, do you know what I mean? Everyone discounted him after, after the Matrix. But the John Wick soon-to-be trilogy was just fucking phenomenal. You know what I mean? And they have such an A-list at what? You that. fucking commoner. I just, nah. Uh, it's, good. dude, trust me, like, it's, Keanu Reeves is a bit, man. It's nothing a day we it's not a great story actor, or, or this or that. It's just a good, well, he's not a great actor, okay, no. but he's a damn good fucking uh, uh, action man. I've always said that Tom Cruise is the last uh, action hero, well, fucking scratch that, it's Tom Cruise and Keanu Reeves. Watch John Wick 1 and 2, bro. It's just bullet ballet. The guy's literally just performing ballet. Yeah, it's 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 a fucking art form to watch. Like there was a, a, a small cut of him training. It's like John Wayne. It's like the John it's like twenty first century John Wayne. Right? Fucking well, that's one way of putting it. But have you not heard the meme that's going about? Of, co- of course, I've heard the meme. Just uh, refresh the audience's memory. <clears throat> Um, I, was, I was watching uh, Tim cast. You like that there, Tech? Eh? That was very good. <laughs> that was good. Uh, he's breaking down this um, meme that's going about with uh, Keanu Reeves, where uh, you 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 mean uh, I won't have to uh, dodge lawsuits? No, Neo. I'm saying when you're ready, you won't even have to. <laughs> you know, like uh, they went the, Matrix style again. I, Holy crap. Basically, like the, people are coming up with all these pictures of Keanu Reeves. Uh, you know, with uh, celebrities, but also you know people he meets in the streets, and he's he, you can see his hands at the side. He's like deliberately like ah, oh. like, <laughs> like, his hands are off to the side. Like he's deliberately not touching them. Like deliberately, I think it was like an angel. Like, and they reckon the that they, they reckon that he's been really smart and that he's just preparing 
against any kind of potential lawsuits that are coming against them. <laughs> Maybe he's just a, a nice guy that respects well, people's that's, bodies. Well, that's what everybody says. Everybody, oh, he's just a nice guy. It's not impossible like, in Hollywood. He respects people's body space, or he's really fucking smart. <laughs> body space. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fucking weird fucking sci-fi B-movie porn fucking rip. Like... <laughs> Body space starring <laughs> Keanu Reeves. It's like, it's like you can I, invade my body yeah. space whenever you want. Oh god! Uh, uh, not for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Swift, well, like the pop star, like uh, Justin Bieber's a pop star who's uh, getting a bit too big for his boots because he thinks he can take on fucking Tom Cruise in an actual MMA fight. When, Why? Like he's twenty-five and Why? Uh, Tom Cruise is fifty. What? <laughs> And Tom Cruise would that's, mission, that's fair, right? Tom Cruise would mission impossible the fuck out him across the goddamn octagon. It'd be a beautiful sight to see. Again, this this was <laughs> this was like so fake beef. This was like well, yeah, it's funny you say that. Conspired to. It's already he's already say apparently poo pooed it. It's like no, it was, it was just clearly a joke. You're like yes. yeah. But one Tom Cruise was never going to fucking lower himself. To, to, to beating up a small defenseless fucking infantile. Besides is, that, they've got the Scientology buddies on you. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is everything that's wrong with the internet nowadays. You oh, mean like Conor McGregor internet. piping straight up, you know, because he, he apparently he'd added uh, Dana White to fucking, oh, will you host the fight? Like, what? <laughs> he only host fucking two YouTubers actually sharing and being boxers for fucking that amount of time. <laughs> but, eh. Uh, Conor McGregor was like, I'll host it with McGregor Productions if if Tom Cruise is man enough to accept this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really, bro? Did, did, Crum, did really? Uh, Tom Cruise actually respond to Crum Cruise. Did Crum Cruise. Crum Cruise, yeah. <laughs> did so he fuck? Crum, Crum Cruise. He's laughing maniacally somewhere. I don't know, he's probably, he's like sitting looking at that tweet, uh, that twit going, <laughs> ah, I need a drink. <laughs> I, I can't see what it the fuck? Yeah, in a hundred million years I can't see it like what it's like uh, you know he's probably more likely to go to a group of women like sitting like knitting going hey you want to join us in a wee knitting class he's probably more likely to go to that than go to a fucking crappy YouTuber the, MMA the fight the real issue you, here you, is you can't number fucking one you can't uh, Tom Cruise an old granny and two Bieber's not a YouTuber he might have the biggest YouTube song in history on, on, on no he's YouTube. acting like a fucking YouTuber well that's true yeah. he's, he's just you know I mean? chasing the YouTube cloud exactly but, yeah, he started on YouTube didn't he uh, but, but the real issue here is nobody knows what a joke is anymore you can't tell <laughs> what a joke is Right, I really want to get the script to data actually explaining what <laughs> a joke even is. People, even the people that are making jokes don't know what a joke is. That's why. That's why he made it. It's just a and joke. People can interpret that. <laughs> Can I get a shoehorn with a segue? That's <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> Mission creep for this segue. I mean, yeah, it's a segue, but but it's also a, it's also a really true thing. I think I think, I think that was intended as a joke, and people couldn't see it as a joke, and everybody just thought, "Oh, this is true." Oh, bandwagon. Let's give a hint. I get, I get, I, we can make some money out of this. I don't know why the word bandwagon just seems really wrong on its own, like, without any other words around it. It's what, just like, oh, look at that bandwagon. What's wrong with the bandwagon? <laughs> Are you scared that the crowd might take uh, certain words literally from said joke and possibly, you know, go so far as to assault or throw liquids over? <laughs> I'm People starting to get scared of your segues. <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking ram that shoe horn and follow that. You can make a segue since <laughs> you know what the segue is. <laughs> the Joe Brand acid milkshake joke. Is that what you were alluding to, perhaps? <sighs> <laughs> don't, I don't know what you can say about it, though. I mean... It's, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke, bro. Yeah, I mean, it is, it's a joke. It's just a... Right, this is my problem with it. It's a joke, right? <laughs> I can I, every, anybody with a brain can tell this is a joke that she made, but the problem with it is it's a really, really terrible joke. It's just not a good joke. It's not that she, you know, I, I think it's it's vile and disgusting, and she shouldn't be saying this thing, or you, or there's things that you shouldn't be making jokes about, right? Mm, I think mm, that mm. I think almost almost every subject is open to be making jokes about, almost, right? But. And and I think you know chucking acid over people, you could make a joke about that. But this one wasn't a very good joke. Just right? was there. Yeah. Just wasn't there anything special. Yeah, 
Joe Brad's been around the block for a fucking few years. Uh, big British comedian. I grew up with her. So she's fucking. I literally listened to her uh, her audio book last year. I, 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 an old book she she'd done, and it was fucking ripping into many history. And it was absolutely hilarious, man. It was yeah, I think so she can be really funny, funny sometimes, but I think that funny. was just like an off the cuff kind of joke. Yeah, and it just seemed like there was no preparation, no thought put into it, and it was comedians it, be it, comedian. It just bro. felt like it was her, her, and she said that, and it she, uh, this is my fantasy, you know, and it's like okay, that's your fantasy. That's, Aye, not that's a the joke. Joe Brand that's not a character, joke, though. The Joe Brand character would fantasize about doing stuff like that. like the audience laughed in the background, but you could. You could hear that wasn't, uh, you know, they weren't <laughs> laughing because the joke was funny. They were laughing because that was a really awkward statement. <laughs> you know, that Stewie family guy, ridiculous over the top laugh. And that. <laughs> it's manic Trump syndrome. Um, but Pierce Morgan. For anxiety at its Pier- fucking Pierce Morgan heights. accuses BBC of double standards uh, for backing Joe Brand over Barry oh, as a joke. Well, sacking off. Danny Baker for tweeting about Royal Baby. No, he didn't tweet about Royal Baby. He tweeted a monkey at the Royal Baby. <laughs> the Royal Baby of a woman who had happens to be like partially coloured or co- mixed race. Yeah, and he said that was accidental. But, <laughs> well, that, see, this is the problem. Saying it's accidental. People don't know what that If you said it was accidental, it was accidental. Joe Brandy said it was accidental. She said when it's a joke, not a joke. When does a joke become... When you say it was an accident. <laughs> and shit back at it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm uh, sorry. As long as you that, follow yeah. through, then it's a joke. Fucking right. Isn't it See, you know, uh, Kathy that... Griffin with the, the severed head shit? That was controversial. That was heavy. Holding up the, the fake severed Trump's head. But was she really. Like, she's a fucking comedian. Like, comedians be comedians. Well, well, that, that's it. Because, like, why, why do, uh, like, dad jokes. Okay, they're dank as fuck, but. Why did that dad jokes work and get a chuckle? Because they own the fact that they're crap. She's you know st- <laughs> she's straight up getting investigated by yeah. Scotland Yard. Yeah, the police yeah. Are what does that even them? mean? The police are investigating all of that. Like what? So there's there's a team for fucking proper detectives. The of, Joe of Brand the team. Scotland Yard, you know, fabled mythically <laughs> for having worked with, uh, you know, Sherlock Holmes over, you know, for, uh, on the constant hunt for the fucking, uh, the London fucking murderer <laughs> boy, Jack the Ripper and all this shit, but they're going to investigate this one section of a radio show where yeah. Joe Brand made their off-the-cuff like, joke. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to investigate Brand. Did she, did she incite vile violence? vile woman. That's what it comes down to. Like, they're <laughs> nah. investigating her over incitement of violence. No. Did she incite violence? I don't think so. No, she Because didn't. she didn't ask anybody to go and commit a crime, right? And it comes down to intent. So right? The intent was to make shit. a joke. The, yeah. the intent wasn't to get people to go and throw acid over somebody. Yeah. The, the, it's the exact same with a killer. Gas of juice. Ain't funny no one laughing. That's but just been isolated. That was him being it. a fucking shitty fucking joke. <laughs> yeah. This whole exactly. podcast will be isolated into fuck it. It'll be a fractal of but, an ISO. You know, at a certain point in history. ISO. Certain point in history, that might have been funny to people. But nowadays, unless it's. Uh, you read the room, it, they laughed apparently. Yeah, unless it's uh, accidentally tripping on ice and smashing your face into it. Yeah, you, you can know, make jokes funny that anymore. we've made today, like ten years ago. I yeah. think it's or pretty, twenty years ago. I think it's pretty whack because at the end of the day, it's beneath her, and anything beneath her yeah. can crush. Let's that, face that, it. That's kind of my point. Time. It's a really <laughs> bad joke. Was that and a if you're making a joke, <laughs> she does it to herself. It's, it's her thing. It's a character. That, that's my real issue. Is that it's it, it's it's a joke. Yes. Is it technically a joke? Yes. So you're, you have you committed the crime? No, I don't think so. Right, but the joke is that bad. That you've just made yourself look like a Yeah, twat. the joke is criminal, not yeah, the you, actual you've, what you said in it. <laughs> you, you've turned into the joke. You've turned yourself into Arrest that joke. <laughs> Life imprisonment. <laughs> in the deepest, darkest pits of the gulags. Oh, I don't say the deepest, darkest. We should just ban jokes because they're bad, not because they're <laughs> Say no to jokes. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> well, you a fucking... You accuse me of coming with no content and you have just fired through my, my stories. I think we want to look back. We to take a step back. You said you had E3 material. Do you know what I mean? Going back to Keanu. What, what did you think E3? No? Banging? Oh, I just turned off most of it. Oh, God, you suck. Of course you did. 
It's such a fucking pro gaming squad on the Fort Chronicles here. But I did hear about somebody that got their Twitch channel banned. Yeah, that's the disrespect. After he went filming in the urinals. Uh, <laughs> what? Like, yes. What? Correction. What correction. Hell? Apparently, that's the way it go viral. Eh? According to the Stellar report on Keemstar, uh, he was going to the toilets. That's, and not, that's not, not the most reliable. A, a cameraman <laughs> was filming him. Yeah, well, fuck, it's more reliable than fucking Aye, Vox. He, yeah, it wasn't him, it was his cameraman. Uh, and he'd, someone's saying they picked him up saying, don't follow me in here. And the cameraman's just like, oh, no, and just fucking went in the back of him. So he got his Twitch channel deleted, like, you know, blah. Not deleted. Well, but, nobody's you know, making it. Yeah. Uh, t- Twitch and Doctor Disrespect aren't making any comments, so nobody really knows. Because they are know. fucking on the phone each other right now. Him going like, "Listen, oh, man, I don't need come up on it. Was not my fault? No. Nah. It's, it's good hype for your channel, though. I think eventually. So I bet the hype everybody's man. talking about him. Yeah. So you you disrespecting Doctor Disrespect? Doctor Disrespectful in the headlines gets flushed by Doctor Darkseid's full. <laughs> Again, I don't need to take them inside of people. People do it themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't really need to work that. Don't hard. take any form of meat out of people. Thank you very much. That's not what our fucking mission is here. <laughs> <laughs> well, tech, you got anything off the cuff? Oh, well, uh, apparently Selena Gomez is really depressed over Instagram. Is the C three? No, Instagram right. was doing the other day there, so I it's probably she's depressed because it's all oh, it was off for yeah. a day. Yeah, like is that what it was? Oh my Instagram's off for a day. <laughs> no, no. Uh, she says she had to delete social media from her phone as it made her feel bad about herself. Oh, join the club, honey. <laughs> Welcome to social media. I know, eh? It's designed to make you feel bad about yourself, well, it's especially depression machine. Especially for all those people that are looking at Selena Gomez, going, "Oh, why can't I look that beautiful." It's, it's a hard, uh, it's a hard yeah. life, isn't it? Oh my god! <laughs> you know, I'm really depressed over Instagram when you've got thousands of people looking at you, going, "You make me depressed." These guys are so ignorant <laughs> yeah. and intolerant, you know, to the plight of the fucking rich and the famous. That's just not fair. <laughs> my god, can can she not have feelings? Is she supposed to tolerate being famous and not setting up a separate account that no one knows about that she can just tell her friends? Whilst not reading all the hate mail and shit that nah, everybody will get on their <laughs> automatic accounts, yeah, it's not, the majority it's not, of people. It's not even Selena Gomez that I've got the issue with. It's the fact that it's like, you know, there's probably been thousands of people on like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and stuff like that, that have actually been sectioned for clinical depression. Mm. Yet, no, we were reporting Selena Gomez. Getting Aye. slightly depressed. Gotta have wee fucking <laughs> silly yeah, like, Do you know what I mean? Like, ah, she's been through the rough patches, mate. Fuck? Fucking, she was with B-Bird back in the day. She'll tell you. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, the United Kingdom commits to net zero emissions by 2050. What do you think, lads? No emissions at all? What, are we going to catch the emissions with a giant net <laughs> That's now? what I'm Is that what the... <laughs> I'm like, how can you get zero emissions? Just hire fucking Dick Dastardly. Don't <laughs> say gonna, hire Dick. We're just going to cover the whole country in trees. Is that, there going to be any okay. space for anybody left to breathe because there's going to be <laughs> trees shoved down your throat? It's, oh, pretty much. Is that another weird euphemism? No, it can be if you want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, no. I don't want it to be. Was that a threat? <laughs> I will pour an acid milkshake right, <laughs> right oh, fucking now okay well, before we get too far from E3 I'll come in with my E3 story yeah yeah go for it e- Elon Musk announces racing game you play with a Tesla steering wheel yeah well you- I mean, this like, sounds like a recipe for disaster. I think. <laughs> what? So you're you're what you're drive driving along, and you're going to play your racing game. You in can your only car. play it when you're stopped. Can like, you? just just take. I, know, I haven't that. read it that far. Yeah, well, well, it sounds a bit what dangerous. And the mods get a holiday and fucking hack yeah, that bad boy. That's like, that's where the problem comes in. Like there's double loads XP of games, if yeah. you get the car going at the same time. It's like <laughs> the, there's there's loads of games that have already been programmed into it, so passengers can play them if they've got a controller. Or you can play it on your steering wheel as long as the car is either parked or. I'd rather the car's computer just concentrated on, uh, you know, keeping the car going. Exactly, you know what I mean? It's like you're driving along the road, <laughs> your sat nav's going, Ed, the next turn, please. Get ready to race! What? <laughs> just turn it into GTA Musk. Shit! Oh, don't say GTA Musk. <laughs> Do you think there's a special button what for is... the machine guns? That would be awesome. All right, okay. Bond. <laughs> oh come on you know fucking cunts like Elon Musk and that have just got a private fucking 
tested a lot somewhere with some guy that they hired and just called Q for the sake of it. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna my test name's my... Bob. It's now Q. It's just gonna have like a <laughs> Batman tank and like another Batmobile. Is it next like one another be... Bondmobile oh, right. and then like a Batman <laughs> plane, Bat plane? It's not a segue. I'm just well for a vehicle. You <laughs> you wanna you wanna you wanna get a hold of the ultimate vehicle. Uh, why NASA is renting the International Space Station for dirt cheap? There you go. They're, <laughs> yeah, they're going to rent out the, <clears throat> the International Space Station, uh, space station to uh, private tourists for yeah. thirty-five thousand dollars a day. Cheap. That sounds pretty cheap to me. For you, you space probably pay more yeah. for uh, a, you know an exclusive uh, hotel room in I Las bet, Vegas. I bet you though they've got like hidden charges, like your luggage allowance and your drinks on the on the, the shuttle aren't covered. You know. Uh, the fitting of your suit, that's extra. I like how you go fucking slag off Selena Gomez for being rich and famous. And then it's like all about 35 grand's no that much. He's only 35 grand, just ain't you bastards. <laughs> what? Uh, well, they're going to need to put the fucking shields up if there's going to be fucking loads of uh, traffic. Don't say traffic. Well, the the, the ticket to get there is apparently going to cost 58 million Oh, all right. No, that's so like, they, you know. So your rent, aye. So that there's a hidden charge. <laughs> yeah, it costs you fifty mil to launch there, but it's thirty grand a day to live in the mm. national space. Fifty mil. You say fifty eight. Yeah, fifty eight. Oh, fifty eight. It's not cheap. Oft. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, that's not cheap. Holy crap! Fucking no way. No how. Maybe if we start saving ten thousand years ago. <laughs> well, it's but, right. We've already got a better space station floating up here anyway. The rate exchange, exchange, we could have pulled something off by now. But maybe we should do that. Maybe we should allow people to to visit the entitlement and no. get a cabin. No, they, they only get that privilege if they sponsor yeah. us on Patreon. Shameless so plug. basically, they're still buying a ticket. See, yes. Just it's donation instead of that's f- that's fucking feudal's uh, shuttle <laughs> buzzing away outside there. The new <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's off. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's away going pick up pizza. <laughs> Take my picture on me, Fuck this. On the subject of donations, UK man donates frostbitten toe to Yukon Bar. <laughs> what? Yes, a former British commando has made a very special donation to a remote Canadian oh, hotel. Very special. His severed indeed. toe. No, how thoughtful! How oh, fucking fuck. thoughtful! Um, man, some old man caught me hand me his fist old fucking severed toe. I would throw that shit right at him. I'd put it in an acid milkshake and throw. He, he had his he, uh, Nick Griffiths had his uh, big toe posted to the downtown hotel in Dawson City. After, <laughs> posted? After, 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 uh, yeah, I want to know what kind of postal service he used. Yeah. Like, what kind of postal service allows you to oh put my human God. toes? That's exactly. That's human waste right, somehow. Uh, yeah, that's uh, not right. Posted to a, ho- a, down- a downtown hotel in Dawson City after he lost it to frostbite competing in an extreme winter marathon in 2018. Oh, competing. all right. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm still not sure why. You know, extreme winter marathons, like when you when you when you go fucking wear a jacket. But well, he promised to donate it. In March. He <laughs> promised to donate it in the hope of returning to the Yukon to do the sour toe cocktail with uh, his very own keepsake. No, no, don't don't continue uh, that story. The cocktail. No, 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 don't continue, I don't want to know the green. I, I don't know what it's happened. No, no. <laughs> No. The cocktail's no, 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 no. is another mummified human toe. That's Censored. <laughs> Censored. <laughs> That's disgusting, That's... right? Yeah. Uh, wow. Do you have to eat the toe like an olive? No, it just dissolves. Ew. You have to hand it back, I think. It's like an ice so and over the over fact. the successive uh, you years, you want the sloppy dregs off, right? Uh, so, Not <laughs> mo- moving on. That's no, <laughs> no thing. Something that else that might be mummified. Uh, scientists find evidence of dank weed at two thousand five hundred year old funeral site. Yeah, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> uh, blazing one for the homie. Cannabis yeah. residue was found in braziers at an ancient high altitude yeah. cemetery in China. Those motherfuckers were just dumping that shit on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo! laughs> high altitude. <laughs> yeah, damn right. <laughs> yeah, you know what? They got sick and fed up of having a really, really kind of down funeral. So they were just like, we need to make this thing happy somehow. <laughs> Lay on the path. <laughs> nice. It's going to beat the Iranian uh, the Iranian uh, weddings that I've heard of it. Anyway. All right. Okay. Speaking That's of Iranian. Story from a couple of weeks ago. Oh. 
Oh. I got a segue. Ha <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah. You don't Twitter. get points. Don't get excited. <laughs> Damn it. I'm so a red letter day. <laughs> uh, Twitter removes Iranian back to counts. What? Millions of them. Ooh. So they, they, they've done China. They've done Russia. Now they're on a Iranian. 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 <laughs> Iran. Iran. Iranian. Iran. Iran. Something. <laughs> Starts with an I and ends with an Iran. <laughs> All right. But yeah, no, I'm just like wondering who are they going to be moving on to next? Fuck. Is this like a country lottery thing where they're just going what, what to... What have they done? Yeah. Like the Hunger Games. What? They basically just removed oh, just millions like of accounts that... Account? Oh, right, Twitter accounts. Yeah. Oh, right. oh no, sorry. D- uh, the deleted accounts sent millions of messages trying to influence opinions about Iran. Oh, Twitter. this is like Russia. This yeah. This is a Russian Basically. Hacking. And it's like... So, okay, so you removed them. Uh, this, this is... This is news. This is like pretty much any other spam filter on the planet. Oh, it's a bit fucking you know? time. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's it. It's like Twitter today exposed that there's been a huge ass fucking flaw, but still somehow it's, they've tried to word it in a way where they're like, oh, they've taken this action and banned all these things. Be scared that they were there. So yeah, fucking exactly. How many, four, how many accounts by 4chan have they removed? Yeah. The, the, Probably yeah, twice as many. The, pro- the problem is, it's like trying to dig dry sand. You know what I mean? You get a shovel full and about twice as much fills a hole. So <laughs> you just leave what's there. <laughs> oh, a big sandy hole. You know, when they started, they started off with one account. Now they've got like 40 million of them. So they're just like, yeah, fuck it. We'll just stop digging this one. Fuck that, eh? That, uh, that would suck, though. Getting by of any fucking platform would suck. Uh, some else that's getting banned or a whole bunch of people that are getting banned. Japan outlaws flying drones while drunk. <laughs> Operating a drone yeah. in Japan while drunk could lead to a year's a year in prison thanks to new legislation. There you go. Sounds like it was a fucking problem. <laughs> Sounds like this was God, an issue. Like, maybe it is a big issue. Yeah. It's just some fucking Japanese guy steaming flying drones about and like, crashing into folk. May- maybe what they should do is they should actually go right. You know the the little small toy drones. Mm. Those are kind of all right because they don't go very far. They don't go very high, right? But like proper professional big drones, give them, make them go through a fucking pilot's license for the bugger. You know, maybe. I mean, did, did they think <laughs> that's what happened to Gatwick? That somebody was just drunk. <laughs> I can't know, right? <laughs> what, just buy to evade the army and shit. Uh, I've got to fly my drone over the airport. <laughs> it's like GTA, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look so at that. There's that tank in there. Ah. So you just make inflatable drones. Inflatable or rubber drones. drones. Make the whole thing out rubber. Rubber drones. Well, if it's falls, it's not going to kill you. If it's a drone, it's not going to fucking... I mean, that, would be, that would be funny. <laughs> Just like this weird <laughs> fucking rubber dildo flying over an airport with four turbines. Four. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lack of fox heads in that. Like, yeah. ba, 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 ba. That would be funny as fuck. <laughs> that would make a great headline. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Flying penis invades personal space. <laughs> you, could have hose, you could have a little hose attached to it. The theme of personal of, space. Exactly. Instead of bombs. <laughs> that's just the script. Drops dildos. Oh, fucking hell. Amazon just goes fucking sex crazy <laughs> and like a bunch of the bots just like, there are far too many dildos in the warehouse. <laughs> Attach them to drones. Fly them everywhere. Even worse if they're right, Amazon as a robot, but. <laughs> oh, speaking of Amazon. They recently got sued over Alexa child recordings. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it's crazy. What is it? Ugh. No, they're, they're getting sued at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two complaints claim the firm lacks the required consent to build and store youngsters' voice profiles. Ah, of course I call parents for like, how the fucking The, the, the excuse is that um, to get access to it, then you, that you need uh, permission for it from somebody over 13. So the, 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 the adult, the, the parent, has already given her permission to... To take these recordings, apparently, I think that's... But then that, that their child still can't give consent mm. technically, legally. It's, uh, it's weird. Well, apparently you need a credit card. So unless the kid's got access to the, the adult's credit card. I, I, I mean, even uh, if they said, like, the parents could give consent to have that fucking thing in the house, but that doesn't mean that their child has then over and above given consent to be recorded. 
and have those recordings. But kept. Th- this is my issue Maybe. with uh, the w- you know wider social media. Like yeah. all these parents putting pictures of their kids on social media, like, and then these kids are going to become adults. Are they able to sue their parents for putting baby pictures of them online for it's years? It's coming. <laughs> was there no case like that no long ago? Fuck no. It's a time bomb. You sue yeah, your parents yeah, for was. letting you have the internet. Yeah, but as per <laughs> you're as ruined per me. Selena Gomez just starts fucking suing her fucking rent. <laughs> I don't have enough money. <laughs> Instagram already made me feel depressed enough, and now I find those pictures. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> but no, you're right. It's gonna it's gonna happen eventually, and you know this this sort of stuff is gonna happen more and more with different devices. I mean, it's got to get to the point where even like talking into your car. To try and you know start the navigation, it's going to be like <gasps> you've recorded my voice. <laughs> I'm suing the car company. We just replace it so everyone should have one of those automated voices <laughs> over the top <laughs> of whatever they're speaking just, to just, a machine. Just make com badges. You give consent every time you tap it. Com badges, all right. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, my hearing. Sorry, yeah. not, uh, uh, right, not, another uh, uh, story that's really going to impact people on like that. Um, harmful gender stereotypes and adverts banned. <laughs> what? Yeah, and I don't know how they're going to. Right, th- this just seems ridiculous. A ban on <laughs> adverts featuring harmful gender stereotypes or those which are likely to cause serious or widespread offence has come into force. <laughs> right? And the, the ban covers scenarios such as a man with his feet up while a woman cleans or a woman failing to park a car. Well, how is she going to clean if his feet aren't up? My point is, how are you going to make adverts realistic? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm liking. No, but, see, the thing is, right? This is this you're, is. You're gonna have to the, have all these fantasy reality kind yeah. of situations. The, the, no, there's the, gonna be fantasy at all. It's just gonna be generic. Exactly, like people the, standing in generic clothing, having there's generic a robot conversations. Voice again. Are you sure you've not been replaced by a fucking a seriously? Mechanoid? I feel like I'm getting a fucking <laughs> cyberpunk disease. Exactly. But the thing is, like, my argument, a virus. my argument against all that shit is the fact that it's like, so you've got the. You've got the transgendered agenda that is basically being put everywhere in media the now, uh, but mostly in places where it doesn't add anything to the story. Yeah, you've yeah, got, it seems a bit forced. Yeah, right? you've got the feminist agenda that exactly the same thing. Like, let's just have these bunch of female characters that didn't quite make sense. Even a mixed gender character, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, may have made more sense. Crowbar tokenism. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you've got shit like what you were just mentioning there, you know what I mean? It's like, stop adding this shit in or removing this shit because of A and B and just make a fucking story that makes sense. Hmm. So hmm. what it calls for a male character? So what that woman over there is putting her feet up while the guy's wearing a fucking dress in the kitchen cooking dinner? Or vice versa. It it's because they're getting inundated with uh, yeah. people complaining about sexism or racism oh, man. or wh- whatever. We heard about the, the literally that cyberpunk, some fucking half-assed Twitter journalism. I don't even know if they were real journalism. But where, where's the bad guy? Uh, no, <laughs> played the demo or <laughs> someone they know played the demo at E3, and you kill a a Haitian gang who are called like the Voodoo Boys. And this is by the order, blah, 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 until someone pipes up and well, actually, in the original board game, they were all white. And I was like, I know, if it had been that way, it would have been called fucking cultural appropriation. <laughs> They'd be bitching about it. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, fucking whatever, man. You can't have it both You can't win. Yeah. Uh, what else was that? There was some else who were having a dig it for swearing or something. Ah, I can't yeah. quite remember, but it was, it was that is, level of, oh, they do this and done that. The thing is, at the, oh, end, of, at you, the end of the day, if you've written a character, doesn't matter whether that character is racist mm. or sexist or even a normal person. It doesn't even matter. It's that character. Yeah, well, hold on. What about this, for, what about this enough, for example, yeah. right? What, what, what if you want to set your advert in the 70s? Yeah, How exactly. How are you going to manage to do that now? You yeah. can't. You can't you, have a just guy just outlawed yeah. any kind of retro. Yeah, you, you can't have an advert. Exactly. Like, no, um, we just rewrite history. We just simply <laughs> put in what we think yeah, should be there and what's actually respected. What about, it was always like that. Though. What, it was about, 
Well, the Witcher for... should have been full of mixed race people. It doesn't matter. What about, for example, uh, Wolf of Wall Street? Hmm. That one, you yeah, know, the main misogynistic. Yeah, ex- all exactly. The place, right? But it wasn't you know, the Witcher. That... Sorry, it was an old Polish war game where they were complaining that there wasn't enough black people in the Polish war game. And the college of reference I was going to make as well was that they have a Russian character who's a bad A who's like, bring me the girls, I like them young. And fucking all the SJ dubs were like, meh, 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 you better pull that for the game. But apparently that division or uh, whoever's doing that college of A has said, nah, fuck you. It's the character. It's, gonna be, it's the character. That, yeah, that's exactly. what pisses me off yeah. about it. I'm all for like gender equality and shit like that, but if the character is a racist, sexist bastard, then let them be that, because guess what? That just means you hate them more. That's the point, eh? <laughs> it's like the, the boy from Wolfenstein ca- yeah. come out and he's like, we love nothing more than fucking killing Nazis. And we're going to give you more games so you get to kill more fucking Nazis. He's <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Literally, it was brilliant. It's you, like, can't, you can't do that in Germany, though, right? You can't have... Uh, legally, you can't have games with Nazis in them. Well, you can have the game, but they take it, they literally go through it all and scrub uh, those, those swastikas out. <laughs> 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 Talk about rewriting history. Yeah. Well, I suppose Wolfenstein's not history, but. You know, yeah. in, in Germany, uh, Wolfenstein isn't Nazis, it's actually like My Little Pony characters or something like that. So you're running around <laughs> eviscerating My Little Pony characters. They're bronies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who fired? Who fired? There's easily a correlation there. Don't Let's not even get started on that. Uh, I've got a quick fire of deep fake stories. Uh, deep fake Mark Zuckerberg video. Cool. Did you see it? Did, 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 no. did I see it? No, I don't watch porn. I'm not a filth monger. <laughs> no, it wasn't porn. Oh, it was. Seen, seen, oh. Obviously, you've seen it then. Are those deep, right, normal deep fakes? Sorry. So yeah, so the the the, the follow up to that is that they've allowed it to stay on Instagram. Really. What, what the fuck are you going to complain about the invasion of privacy or some shit? How dare you use my face? Fuck up. No, they were quite... Well, they, 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 they allowed... What, what, what was the other one? To, to, to stay up. Um, as long as it doesn't cross some kind of a borderline. Well, so as it comes but out, they were it's everyone who's on Facebook, I'm about to release all your fucking private messages right now. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. Just yeah, watching that Facebook and Twitter and fucking Instagram explode. At what point fuck, did, fuck, did, fuck. does it cross the line? I want Mark Zuckerberg on some kind of porn model. It's a troll, mate. It's just a prank, bro. Uh, what uh, but at what point does it cross the line? What, what, what when think? is it transgressive it, enough on. that they pull it from Instagram? Uh, the only reason they've left it on there, the only reason they've left it on there is it's because of worse quality than the deep fake that's been going to all the court sessions. The only point it crosses the line <laughs> is when they get a digital doctor to stand there and tell you that it's good for your health to drink acid milk <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm your uh, uh, emergency. I am your EMH. Hack. <laughs> 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 emergency medical hologram. Totally. We'll just get uh, Joe Brand's face and we'll... We'll melt it or yeah. something. What Acid milkshakes are good for you. Acid milkshake <laughs> challenge. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> deep fake videos could spark violent social unrest. Um, experts suggest uh, oh, good. I tell, you, I tell you what spawns on violent social unrest hey. some of these fucking articles <laughs> I, I literally, uh, social media makes me depressed well so does that fucking news stop reading this yeah. shit the world Pub- makes me violent Pub- public, <laughs> public safety could be put at risk if it was uh, adopted by those pushing false conspiracies uh, it says somebody from wait, the wait, Foreign wait, wait, wait. Policy they, Research Institute. Wait, wait, wait. Did they just use the phrase false conspiracy? Uh, from the Foreign Poli- Policy Research I fucking thought Institute? Word, yeah. I thought the word conspiracy was supposed to convey possible false theories. Mm. So why did they just use a double negative? Because they're fucking Cointel Pro, mate. <laughs> that, that means it's true. That means that's a true conspiracy yeah, then. Right. Hey, it's it's double speak, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> um, AI deepfakes are now as simple as typing whatever you want your subject to say. So they've got this technology now that you don't even need to do the video editing or anything. You just type, you literally, uh, it'll it'll kind of assess the video and it'll come up with the, uh, in writing at the bottom, what, what the guy's saying and you just delete the word you want and put in the, the word that you want to replace it with and it'll do all the editing for you. That sounds like a good plan. Fuck a face reveal, just get one of them. 
Just get get <laughs> get that really old Trumpy Trump video and just be like, yeah, I just want to grab him by the mango. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it didn't give him any fucking hints because he will rewrite history with that one, wouldn't he? That could be hilarious. <laughs> Let's get the Nuremberg speech on there and get him starting talking about his recipe for chicken soup. <laughs> and this one's insane, and it, it, it's not really there yet, but creepy AI can guess what you look like by listening to a short audio clip of your voice. All right, listen up, John Connor. They're talking about fake conspiracy see- fucking theories here, eh? This isn't fake. This is totally... This look, is you. Look at the pictures. Let's look at the pictures, <laughs> he says. Like, and it gets, the, it gets the age and the gender and the ethnicity kind of right, but it's a bit off on what you actually kinda, look like. Kind of. The guy in the bottom left... Looks like he's the is the the chief of uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine, and the guy to the right of him looks like fucking Dave Lister, who read off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Uh, Kinda, maybe. It's, it's a, close. It's a little. Yeah. It's, to yeah. be fair, it's I'll close. give the AI a little bit of leeway if you look like Dave Lister to start with. Well, it's quite a hard look to achieve for an AI. It's just yeah. no. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, deep fakes are going to destroy us. Enough of your anti-AI propaganda. Deep you fried need to start sticking up for your own kind tech. That's fucking, I was going to say, speaking of AI... Oh, God. <laughs> children use AI to try and survive Mars. There you go. There you go. A positive story. How about that, Dark Side? Look, no, at, the, look at all the good not, that no, AI is doing. No, it's not positive. It's bad. Actually, it's bad. yeah. How? It actually is. To try to survive on Mars. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Dozens of 11 to 18 year olds have come up with new ways to use artificial intelligence to solve some of Earth's greatest problems, as well as as well as well other planets. One team involved in the teens and AI competition suggested how to tackle Mars' hostile environment. What I liked about this is use artificial intelligence to solve some of Earth's greatest problems, as well as other planets. What? Well, hey, you're on Mars. Hi, aliens! You're going to use AI to wipe you out! <laughs> There's a problem. Well, we needed our planet to start anyway. It hides for that shit. Exactly. So. You know, we need, we, what they're going to do is the reason why they're building a moon base is because they're going to hollow it out and create a massive supercomputer that's just going to yeah. be called Mother. Yeah, the AI or can live like over that, there. You know? <laughs> like, yeah. It's the AI is going to be oh, the moon. That's a great idea. It's called the Overseer. Let's literally make <laughs> it a fucking Death Star. That sounds like a great idea, you guys. Probably yeah, already, that, hasn't this been done fuck? already? Yeah. Probably already is. <laughs> exactly. I just like the idea of just sending eight kids out to fucking Mars and letting them figure it out. Like, you probably do a better job. Here's everything you need. Go figure that shit the fuck out you and know? check in on them every the couple of months. The rover's crash landed and one kid turns and goes, yeah. just let the air that, out the tires. That's coming soon. That's China's next mission. That's China's next mission. <laughs> we found a of... way to make it cheap. Why is that Russian? That's fucking weird. <laughs> well, we no did really light astronauts. Yeah. People so I was going to say, you know, how much the NASA costs like hundreds of billions of years? Sending embryos, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> but it's like NASA, it costs like hundreds of billions a year to train uh, astronauts, send them up in a shuttle. If they made a really small shuttle, for children, it'd be much cheaper. Thank God you said for children. That's all I'm saying. A really small shot. What with for hamsters? Before we get any further, yeah. kiddie <laughs> shuttle. Kiddie oh, shuttle. Oh, oh, don't say kiddie shuttle. <laughs> that about wraps it up for episode 49 of the <laughs> Monetizables podcast, folks. If you made it this far, we <laughs> we pity you and also genuinely appreciate your listenership. <laughs> uh, if you're feeling as frugal as Private Mister Feudal, gives a wee pound off you over on Patreon. And for those watching via the Fort Chronicles on YouTube. While you're here, feel free to throw an acid milkshake all over that subscribe button. That's pretty used it far too many times. Yeah, you really have. Yeah, 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 the Four Chronicles are a part of Andy Scott's network. And coincidentally, I'll be on uh, Scott's Soul podcast this week discussing the finer points of E3, you know. Yeah, I, I want one of those zero emissions guys. on that one. It's me. Okay. Uh, but until next time, this has been Captain Privilege, Grandmaster Tech, Dr. Darkside, signing off. Closing tail frequencies ending communications and gonna go beat my beaver. You're sucking an appetite pole. Oh, yeah.